Hi, it's Steven again. Welcome to your first marching exercise, the box drill. Our marching exercises are built on the foundation of drilling our fundamentals and practicing consistency in our technique, or in simpler terms, to march well all the time. This exercise is called box drill. We use it as a way to perform all sharp angles, begin to understand the relationship between body and field in context, control facing through multiple directions of drill, and introduce marching vocabulary into a complete instructional thought. Since we really want to emphasize our understanding of the 8 to 5 step size, we should be prioritizing our marching practices on a football-sized grid. The best way to do this is on a football field, but in a pinch, two parking spaces are sized similarly, and step sizes can be adjusted accordingly. In this exercise, we create a box with our four sets of instructions. For the purposes of this video, we'll be focusing on one of them and creating the first box you may do in the context of a rehearsal. In reality, you march a variety of up to 16 different versions of facings and directions, plus modifications of step sizes, step counts, horn carriages, and so on. The first direction you move in this example of the exercise is forward for eight counts. The default for all of our marching exercises is to do them at an eight to five step size. On the eighth count of this exercise, your platform will place at a 45 degree angle to the left to prepare for the next instruction. Up next comes eight steps to the left at a forward left slide. Your upper body continues to face the direction it started, but your body moves to the left. As a recap, you may begin by marching eight steps forward, then eight steps to the left. The eighth count of the forward left slide will also be a platform step 45 degrees to the left because the next motion you do will be backwards marching away from the direction you're facing. Up next is a backwards slide for eight counts. The goal is to vertically end up in line where you started. Remember, the biggest tendency with your backward marching is that your step size will be too small. So if you need to, remember to keep that momentum moving backward. The last move of the box drill is eight counts backwards and to the right, heading back to the point where you started. The eighth count of the previous move will also be a 45 degree angle to the left since we need to prepare ourselves to move to the right. What you may notice, however, is that your left foot will have to make a tremendous effort to swing backwards and around your right foot to end up in line with your starting position. There is no method for certainty in achieving this other than to push off with your stationary foot, to keep your moving foot close to your stationary, and to engage with the core. Finally, march the eight steps back to your original position and place close. Here are some things to keep in mind while practicing the box drill. Finish your phrases. Since this is your first time stringing together a bunch of different moves in different directions, you may feel weird about suddenly changing your momentum, but it's important that you commit to the direction and step sizes. Be conscious about your slides. There should be no visual changes above your rib cage. Fight the urge to cheat your slides, which would involve rotating only at the shoulders. Remember to separate the artist from the athlete. Prepare for your direction changes. By engaging your core and being sharp with your motions, you reduce the risk of confusion or injury by committing to the actions. If you're counting out loud, you have a better chance of anticipating what's coming up next. Confidence in your voice is tied to confidence in your movements. Always remember to think ahead. Here's the whole variation of the box drill exercise. 